Let's have a look. Me and LK are going to have a look at this match from Ms. Skelly. This is SQ versus Aaron Mack. SQ says she is sick of losing to Leo. So why don't we learn if there's any common factors in these rounds to why she's losing to Leo. But first, we need some music. Okay. Scuffed. Early round. Okay. Huge advantage here. One criticism I have is I'm sure she knows some sort of burst safe combo here. This is this is H Sortas here, right? H Sortas here, burst safe. Based on that first round, I say she she's dominating. Excellent. A miscalculation, and this is where it begins to cost. Up back? Does this really get you out? Okay. Up back again. Up backing a throw. Okay. That burst was fine. I think this is all wrong. So let's let's think. You have your opponent close to corner burst. Okay, another grab tech here. If you have your opponent in the corner, the the, the highest percentage win percentage play is to brawl them, to brawl the fuck out of them. They're on the back foot. If you swing into them and they lose the exchange or trades, they're fucking dead. They're dead. Why are we not pressing? This is too much respect. I need I need a 5S, I need a 5H, I need something. Something here. The best defense is a good offense. BRC at the throw tech? Yeah. Anything. Press, 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 press. You have a superior range after your throw gets teched with RAM. So just 5S, 5H. If it hits, <laughs> GG's. Go next. We should have gone next a long time ago. Okay, fighting back. Whoa. Where was the grab on the IB on Swite? Aw, oh, Kelly, come on, please. Oh! God, you're killing me! All right, all right, all right. Playing too cowardly. Okay, this should be lethal. Barely. It's lethal, it's lethal, it's lethal. No. No. Okay. Okay. First thing we're noticing is not belligerent enough when very ahead. Too conservative. Willing to take advantage even if they're negative because they feel privileged. Well, it's not even a feeling of privilege. There's huge advantages in every aspect here. So we need to assess why... It was bad to back off. Number one. This this is number one here. No burst. If Kelly swings 5S and Aaron is doing anything besides down backing, the, the round is over. Number two. We have burst. This is, this is number two. These are separate factors. It's not just that. It's not just that you have burst advantage over your opponent. It's specifically they don't have burst in this position. This is this is the danger zone as Ram. Okay, this we're frowning here. Advantage number three is the life deficit. This this is number three. You are so immensely favored because it's going to take how many exchanges for Leo to kill you? Whereas it takes you one to kill him. It could be Reversal Mortabato. It could be Grab RC. It could be 5S5H, Starro RC. It could be fucking anything. And then number four, obviously, we had meter. This should this should be nearly impossible for Aaron to bring back. This this demands perfect play. And that's not what Aaron gave. This was too conservative. This backdash is a critical error. It is giving Aaron too much respect. He ain't that good. He got a raggedy ass throw too. Get get a, get a little snappy. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to this is 10 points from from Hufflepuff on this. Minus minus 10 DKP. What we needed to see here was a 6p. What we got was a far slash. That's, that's minus 10 dkp. Or you see this motherfucker in the air? We need to see 5p or 6p. Not good. This is my main issue with SQ's play. We, we gain all this space here. And then what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna give it up? Why? Why? 
This is this is just blundering. SQ is fine at, at all matchups. SQ is one of the best in North America, certainly. I don't understand why Leo, you know? I would say there's like no way Aaron can pull this set off playing like this, right? Like She's already blocking. She's already blocking. She's already blocking. Look at this. I would say there's no way Aaron is gonna win like this. I mean, if you, you know, you, you get your jollies, right? Once in a while? Sure. I don't think it's enough. You know, we need more than that. Nah. Ah. She's just giving up on trying to block, is she? Oh, but you're not gonna react to that? Nah, that's a free. This is. Oh, come on, SQ. Oh, honey. No, no, no. So. No. Back turn, huh? I think Aaron's getting away with a lot of malarkey. Let's say it's Neubenheimer versus Aaron, and then Aaron is doing Leo command grab, and Neubenheimer is just getting hit. I'm insulted by Aaron, but then disappointed by Neubenheimer that he's not looking at the screen. I mean, you don't want to give things up so easily, right? That's the key: is you don't give, you don't give freebies out. I would like to discuss a fundamental value. Oh, Guilty Gear. When you burst, like this, you don't want to do the same thing that got you fucking hit. You don't want to put yourself in the same position or get yourself hit by the same shit that you just bursted. If you burst Nago Beyblade, don't get hit by another Beyblade two seconds later. Because you know Nago players are licking their fucking lips. No burst? Boo! Fucking floor that shit. Aaron is licking his lips. Oh my gosh, she's got no burst. Ooh, back turn on lightweights. Yes, bro. You see that? This is called high rolling. Don't put yourself in the same position. Assess. He's not even doing anything. He's just pressing buttons on the controller. And she's just dying. Usually, the only incorrect button you press on your controller when you're dealing with Leo is high or low. When you double FD, 5k, 5k, there is no more mix because you are out of range. You are usually, mid screen especially, usually out of range of a third BTK. This this is a this is a general fundamental. When you FD this string, it is very, very difficult for Leo to mix you after that. If you stand up after you block the second BTK, this guy cannot mix you, especially mid screen. This is like 99% true mid screen. He has to like dash up, back turn K. And even then, it that might not work. This backdash here, you're you're over respecting. You're making Leo look way better than he is. FD on back turn S, and then stand up. There's no mix. This is fundamentally what you should be doing against Leo. And you see, Aaron is not remaining in back turn because the further away he is in certain situations, it's just the least, the less advantageous it is. So that's why we're going back into front turn. And he's probably going to leverage his resources here. Stand blocking pushes you out more. Yes. What are we going to do? Please don't backdash. Oh my god. Well. Could have used some sort of response here. I don't understand where where is the responsiveness. Do something, you know? Something. Not that. Don't press on that. That's, that's the opposite of what she should do. I don't think she's pressed more than one button this entire round. Ta oh, fuck. Nervous? So number one, just guessing high-low on back turn and back dashing all the time. A lot of autopilot. And then number two, I'm seeing just sluggishness, indecisiveness. I'm critical here. Backdash or grab Leo. Unblockable. This move is reserved to blow up people who have good defense. It's designed to be something unexpected to catch people who are good at answering the layer one. It's not designed to abuse people who are not blocking anything in the first place. I don't even think Aaron needs to do this. I think he should just keep on doing back turn K or back turn H. This is a layup. This is a layup. Aaron does have 50. 
Aaron does have feet in the PRC, but you gotta make him have it. You gotta make him have it. Do you all want to see how bad this move is? Grab. OTG dash up. 5k unblockable. Oh my god, it's worse than I thought. <laughs> oh my god, it's worse than I thought. That is for ever. Wow. Now you have to recognize when you're too far. When you have him block something, then it's scary. If he's doing it, like, off nothing. That's when the mental stack is highest, because he's returning to having all options. Like, say, like, like this. That's scary. Because he could be doing anything. He could be moving away. He could be stance canceling. He could do super. He could do run up 5k. He could do dash up grab. He could do a fucking 5d. But this? Come on. Foo on you, Aaron. Foo on you. So this is probably the easiest thing to fix, right? Yeah, like all fake. All fake. All fake. All fake, 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 fake. But we're not even dealing, you know, the actual basic aspects of Leo, you know? Cam's in a way. Damn, he's done. Why did SQ lose a set? Number one. Guessing on back turn Oki. This, this is the easiest one. If SQ never ever got hit by a back turn Oki, like once, one round, then she probably would have won. Number two, her pacing is all wrong. She shuts when she should die when she should jive. You know, you know what I'm saying? She runs when she should be going. She's going when she should probably not be going. Number three, you could probably have like more than two sets of hands to see how many is white cross-ups and guard breaks and shimmies like paid off for Aaron. Don't forget the the, the Leo jumps in IADs too. There's so much more that could be taken advantage of. And number four, she's way too passive in odd situations. Like Leo being right next to her, shimmying around, Leo escaping the corner, Leo throw taking with back to the wall, a whole bunch of odd situations, you know? I think this one is her biggest issue. She doesn't, I mean, just as a player when I watch her. Sometimes I watch her, it feels like it's just not logical, like the tempo that she plays at. Like meter differential, life advantage, it's like nothing changes how she plays. She's the most likely to cough up a round while being way ahead, you know?